Hey guys, today we're gonna go over the Schlage keypad deadbolt. Everything you need to know to install it, quick and easy. Okay, so the only thing you really need for this project is a simple screwdriver. Phillips, standard, that's it. So, as we go into unboxing this, we got this from Amazon. Uh, I reviewed a lot of different things. This was the best one I could find for the money. Uh, very good quality. We've got several of these at the lake house and uh, no problems for the last couple years. Okay, the direction. So you've got the assembly, the, the exterior, and this is the interior. You can see that they're mated together. This is the, the faceplate. So I put that aside. And then what's important here is that you keep this all as one piece until you go to put it into the door. So I keep it like this, just like this, so I know exactly how to put it in the right, the right direction. And then you've got your barrel bolt. Now, depending on your, your lock, you may or may not need this faceplate, which we'll determine on this. I'm not sure yet. Um, but this just comes right off. This can slide in or it's got the mortised um, hole for the plate. Um, so that's everything that you need to start to install this. Step one, remove the two screws that are holding the deadbolt um, knob in place. Next, go ahead and remove the two screws that are holding the bolt in place. Okay, as I mentioned, they're both still together, which is important because you wanna make sure that you get the top in the right location and I just like to keep them together so that I know which way it mates, okay? And you can see how the cable comes through that hole. So the first step, take the keypad on the exterior of the door, and you can notice here it says top, so just make sure you've got the top up, same on the back side, top up. Um, you're gonna take the wire, the wire's gonna go above the bolt, and this pin here is gonna go right in the middle, okay? And that should line up, let's see if we go the right direction here. Gonna slide right in there, wire up top. So over here, then I'm gonna put that together like that. The wire's going through here and we're together, okay? Then the next step is taking the bolts through the hole like that. Trusty screwdriver. I'm gonna just screw that together, okay? Now, one of the things that you're gonna notice here is there's a thing right here called a cam. And this cam comes actually off to the side. So you wanna rotate the plastic cam so you can get to both screw holes. If you can't get to the screw hole, that means the cam's not in the right position. Okay, so this, this cam moves and you just rotate it to the downward position. Then I put the second screw in. I like to kind of keep everything a little bit loose as I'm getting it all put together and then I get all the nuts or all the screws in the right spots and then eventually I'll tighten everything down. Now you also notice I'm using a screwdriver here versus a drill. In the, in the directions, it's pretty specific that you don't wanna use a, um, a drill because you don't wanna over tighten anything. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten this down. Now the other thing as you're screwing this, before you totally tighten it down, this is your opportunity to make sure that these are straight. Um, so before you tighten it down, make sure that your, your straight back and forth is not all crooked on both sides. Otherwise, when you um, tighten it down, it's gonna look that way for good when you tighten these two screws down. Okay, now, next step. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the two plastic connectors right here. Notice the pin on the top, the pins are on the top here. Pins are on the top on this connector. And then just plug them together Make sure, if they don't go together the first time, it means you're probably not in the right direction, so flip it around. Just make sure that the pins you know, line up. Next step, plug the battery in, and as you plug it in, you'll hear a beep, which means the battery's good. All right, and then I'm gonna, this is something I don't love about this lock, actually, is I don't really have much spot to put this wiring, but kind of jam it in there like that. Face plate over top of it like this. Sorry, like this. This should line up, this hole here should line up with this. Like that. And then you're given two more screws, Phillips, that go on the top. You also might wanna just double check that this does go in and out once this is all connected. Snug them up and that's kinda it. And then the next step, after we get that done, we're gonna come around to the front here where we had the, the mortise over here 
and I'm gonna take these wood screws that were provided and I'm just gonna go right back into the same holes that it was already in. Now I wanna make sure that this is straight, but if you're installing this over top of a door that you already had, you're gonna probably just use the exact same holes. So in this case, they're already there. Snug them down, not too tight. You don't wanna, you don't wanna um, blow the threads out, but nice and snug, opens and shuts. Okay, the next step here is programming the lock. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go through that because I don't wanna literally show you my code, uh, but it's very simple here uh, in the directions. Uh, so I would recommend just following through on those. Okay guys, that was it. Um, I think uh, the Schlage lock from Amazon is pretty much awesome. It works really well. Uh, we couldn't be happier with uh, how it went in and, um, uh, and how it operates. So uh, I hope this video helps. Don't forget to smash the like and of course subscribe to see more great videos just like this one.